Okay, this is it. Action. I mean, he was, to me, sort of the way, you know, John Waters was to sort of comedy in Baltimore. He was to sort of the horror of it, and he never got the uh, attention that I, I thought he deserved. In his own circles, he's very famous. I think Don Dohler is one of those genuine artists. He has this cult of devotees, nationally and even internationally. When we saw Dohler for the first time, we knew that the films had heart. A lot of people hold our movies to the same standards as Hollywood movies. If you do that, then there's no way we're going to compare. <laughs> I'm not saying we're making perfect movies here. I would describe Don's first two movies as wholesome. Don was faced with distributors saying, we really need more press. I guess he threw in the towel and said, well, this is what the people want. He's not directing the newer ones. Joe Ripple's directing. A lot of distribution companies won't touch a horror film unless it has nudity in it. Don is steamrolled by Joe's vision of gratuitous sex and gore. Don and I have always been a team. People that are his fans don't know that. She's gonna look better in a bra and panties than she is. I've gotten to the point again where I'm just pretty sick of the exploitative stuff. Our market is more of the big tits. We need boobs, blood, and beasts. Blood, breasts, and beasts. The boobs and the blood and the beasts. And I know you need blood, boobs, and beasts to sell a film. If you don't have those three things, then your film is not going to be successful. 